Unicorns have captivated human imagination for centuries, and their legend spans cultures and continents. From ancient Greece to medieval Europe and beyond, unicorns have been the subject of myths, legends, and folklore. While there is no scientific evidence to support the existence of unicorns, their appeal endures to this day. Unicorns have captivated human imagination for centuries, and their legend spans cultures and continents. From ancient Greece to medieval Europe and beyond, unicorns have been the subject of myths, legends, and folklore. While there is no scientific evidence to support the existence of unicorns, their appeal endures to this day. The earliest known reference to a unicorn appears in ancient Greek literature, where it was described as a fierce animal with a single horn protruding from its forehead. The Greek historian Xerxes, who lived in the 5th century BCE, wrote about a unicorn-like creature he called the Indian wild ass, which was said to be native to India. This animal was said to be the size of a horse, with a white body and a horn that was black at the base and red at the tip. In medieval Europe, the unicorn became a symbol of purity, innocence, and virtue. According to legend, only a virgin could capture a unicorn, as its purity and innocence would be attracted to hers. In art and literature, unicorns were often depicted as white horses with spiraled horns, and they were said to possess magical powers that could heal the sick and purify water. During the Renaissance, the unicorn became a popular subject of tapestries, which were used to decorate the walls of castles and palaces. The most famous of these tapestries is The Lady and the Unicorn, a series of six tapestries that depict a young woman surrounded by various animals, including a unicorn. The tapestries were created in the late 15th century and are now housed in the Cluny Museum in Paris. In the 17th and 18th centuries, unicorns became a popular subject in natural history books and encyclopedias. Some naturalists even believed that unicorns were real animals that lived in remote parts of the world. The Dutch physician and naturalist Willem Piso, for example, described a unicorn-like animal in his book Historia Naturalis Brasilii, which was published in 1648. Piso claimed that the animal, which he called the Capazu, was native to Brazil and had a horn that was almost three feet long. In the 19th and 20th centuries, unicorns continued to capture the popular imagination. They appeared in children's books, movies, and television shows, and their image was used to sell everything from cereal to toys. In recent years, unicorns have experienced a resurgence in popularity, thanks in part to social media and the internet. While the origins of the unicorn legend are shrouded in mystery, historians and folklorists have proposed several theories. Some believe that the unicorn was inspired by real animals, such as the rhinoceros or the ibex. Others believe that the unicorn was a symbol of Christ, as the horn was said to represent the unity of the divine and the human. Regardless of their origins, unicorns continue to capture the human imagination, and their appeal shows no signs of fading anytime soon. From ancient Greece to modern-day social media, unicorns have been a constant source of wonder and fascination, and they are sure to continue to enchant us for many years to come.